What's up everyone? Paul Fitzy Fitzgerald of townynews.com here, standing live outside of Radio City Music Hall, where in just a few hours the NFL Draft 2007 is set to get underway. It's going to be a good day. Sure, it's always a great day. I mean, come on, this is the draft. This is the ultimate man holiday. This is the one day we all get along. After this, I hope you all lose. I hope everyone else goes 0-16. Today, 16-0 for everybody. They say the Eagles bring it. Look at these guys. They are, oh my God, oh my you are God. a scary human Go. being. Birds. What's with the black for? Is that like the green is for the optimism and the black is for the color of your soul? I just love the fact that you guys have a center whose name is Mangold. I just love thinking that Chad Pennington has to reach beneath Mangold to get the ball. If McNabb gets hurt this year, then AJ Feely is going to have to start selling Campbell's soup, and I don't think oh, anyone yeah. wants to have a bowl no. of disappointment chowder. No, we got to do it right. We got to yeah, have faith in Andy Reid. I know who else has faith in Andy Reid. Burger King, Geno's cheesesteaks, Pizza Hut. That guy is the Will Rogers of snacks. He's never met a snack he didn't like. I love Andy Reid, man. I want to be just like him. Yeah, exactly. Well, you're off to a good start, That's buddy. Right. Hey, little Andy, do you have anything to say? Yeah, the Go Eagles won't make the playoffs. Oh, wow. It was great talking to you again, little Andy. The name is Super Giant. Super Giant. I'm awesome, Tom. Nice to meet you. All right, Lavernius Coles, what do you think about the draft this year? It's going to be good. We're going to come out opening day and uh, take you pats to town. Oh, really? And yeah. by take us to town, you mean you're going to buy us a steak dinner and maybe get us some nice red wine before we beat your ass? We're standing next to New York Mets manager Willie Randolph. Willie, <laughs> if you listen wicked close, you can actually hear Matt Millen preparing to make a terrible decision for the Detroit Lions. It's time It's time for the Patriots it is. To, to, to go back to being what they've been good yes. at for the past 30 years, Yes. doormats. Yes. I it's, couldn't agree with you more, and it is time, time for the Jets see. to continue doing what they've been doing since which is the Joe Namath lose, lose the big which game is losing all the time. Driving people to the bottle and the George there Washington Bridge so they can throw themselves off of it. We definitely know how to lose the big game. Oh my God, you guys are the best. <laughs> hey, an actual Packers fan, look at this. Here's somebody who enjoys two things, quality and cheese. How can you still wear your Dion Branch shirt? Doesn't it burn when you put it on? What do you think the Pats are going to do today? Uh, linebacker and a uh, D-bag. A D-bag? Why would they want to select a douchebag? Yeah, hi, I'd like to place an order for delivery, please. Yeah, I'd like 14 large pepperoni pizzas delivered to Radio City Music Hall. Uh, last name Mangini, first name Eric. Oh, can you throw in some garlic knots and a couple of zeppelis? You guys don't have any um, deep fried gelato, do you? Tom Brady. Uh, T-O-M-B-R-A-D-Y. Tom Brady. Tom Brady burger? No, dude, I would eat a Brady burger. Are you kidding me? It would have like, it would be like between two golden cakes and then it would just be a stack of like Kobe beef and all select meats and a, like awesome sauce and then you just like sprinkle some Super Bowl dust on top but you know what's in a Roethlisburger yeah, um, face skin uh, glass motorcycle pats an appendix back in, and sausage back in one month it's full of toughness that's what it is toughness it's full of toughness. I'm surprised I had time to show up today. I've been too busy having sex with beautiful women. I am Tom Brady. This is amazing though. Genuine, authentic, actual Houston Texans fans. It's unbelievable. I didn't think they existed, but apparently there is a small rock in the corner of Manhattan where every draft day they just pull it up and the three of them can come out, cheer on their team, then cry themselves to sleep at the end of the night when they select Mario Williams over Reggie Bush. There's a reason I'm not wearing Mario Williams jersey today. Yeah. That's because he's an underachiever and he is a waste of money, pal. We're not even halfway done shooting today, but right now the award for most awesomest shirt of all time has been given away. Look at this. Check it out. This jersey says two things. I don't take anything seriously and I am ready to party. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. That wasn't good. L-O-S-E, lose, lose. Oh. oh. We're here at the New York Jets Memorial Gutter where all these cups, pretzels, cigarette butts, and all the dreams of the New York Jets fans fall every year. This right here is the spot where the Jets were excited in 1995 before they drafted Kyle Brady. This is the second round trade they made for Doug Jolly, the tight end they got from the Raiders. That worked out pretty nicely. This guy is wearing a number nine jersey, as in nine, the number of Bengals arrested last year. With the 18th selection in the 2007 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select jail guy out of prison state. What about Brad Childers? Like, I think underachieving coach, but he's got an overachieving mustache. You guys have, yeah, you guys have like the thinnest porn star of a coach of all time, Brad Childers. <laughs> if you look real quick, you can see an actual Seahawks jersey. The first one ever in New York City, right there, a Seahawks jersey. They actually have that night glow tape around the collar, so when they get lost at night trying to find their way in the NFL, you can find them. Well, judging by my watch, it's about quarter after 12. Time for the Browns to make a selection that will do no good on their crappy team. A couple questions I want answered. Who will the Jets select? How much will Eric Mangini eat in the draft room? 
And will he need to go shopping for new pants afterwards? Do me a favor. No matter who the Jets pick, boo him, all right? And Eric Mangini. Seriously, is he going to have to order in some extra bacon? Are you guys excited for, for Ro Romophobia 2007? Of course. He's the man. He's the future of the team. Wow. That's a future I do not want to live in, my friend. It's full of robots and tragedy. That's unfortunate. Here, I'll see you week 17, Eli. Should I, bring a, should I bring a hunting rifle to shoot down some of the ducks you throw? Sure. Sure, I'll stay at your place. What's that, one hot break lane? Well, after a long day of drafting and talking to fans of all the other teams in the NFL, we've learned two things. Number one, draft day is replete with lots of excitement and anticipation. And number two, NFL fans are out of their fucking mind. Reporting live via the magic of videotape and or the internet, this is Paul Fitzy Fitzgerald of townynews.com saying let's go Pats and let's go fuck yourself.